tubal hydrosalpinx, and infertility. Yesterday, there was a video consultation with a patient from Yunnan. Her experience was particularly funny. She herself had primary infertility. Which means she has never been pregnant since she got married. The local diagnosis for her was tubal hydrosalpinx. How was it diagnosed? She said it was diagnosed through fluid testing. Then she was advised to undergo proximal tubal occlusion at another hospital, where both fallopian tubes were blocked using hysteroscopy before proceeding with IVF. However, all four attempts at IVF failed. Now she has come to consult with me. After reviewing her medical history and test results, the first thing to negate is that she doesn't have hydrosalpinx at all. Why is that? Because tubal hydrosalpinx is often a result of secondary infertility. Caused by factors such as previous abortions, uterine cavity procedures, pelvic infections, etc. She has never had such a history, so it's highly unlikely. The second point is that she didn't undergo imaging to diagnose tubal hydrosalpinx. And using fluid testing alone is neither scientific nor conclusive. Furthermore, she shouldn't have blocked her fallopian tubes for IVF. Why? Because there's a 80 to 90% chance that tubal factors are not the cause for her infertility. Her infertility could be due to other factors such as male factor, abnormal ovulation, hormonal imbalance, uterine abnormalities, and so on, regardless of the cause. Blocking her fallopian tubes without certainty that they were the cause of her infertility turned a normal or mild infertility case into a severe and absolute one. True tubal hydrosalpinx involves adhesions at the fimbrial end of the fallopian tube, resulting in the accumulation of fluid in the pelvic cavity. It can only be diagnosed through imaging. After diagnosis, surgical repair of the fimbrial end of the fallopian tube using 3D laparoscopy can lead to natural pregnancy in over 90% of cases. There's no need for further destructive procedures like IVF. Such treatment measures are neither scientific nor ethical. At Beijing Antai Hospital, we offer a contracted treatment plan for tubal hydrosalpinx. And if the desired outcome is not achieved, the full payment is refunded. After listening to my explanation, the patient burst into tears, feeling that she has been on the wrong path for over a decade, rushing along the wrong road.